hi guys welcome back to my kitchen on today's video i want to share with you guys how to make banga soup also known as ofako if you're interested please relax and keep on watching for this recipe i'll be making use of goat meat feel free to use any meat of your choice so into a pot i poured in the already washed goat meat I added some chopped onions, I added some seasoning cubes and some salt. I covered it and I allowed it to steam for about 5 minutes. This step is very very important because it will help your meat to taste much better. It will help the meat to take in all of those seasonings. This was after 5 minutes and the meat has already brought out its own juice so at this point i poured in two cups of water stir it around cover it and let it cook until it becomes about 70 percent cooked While the goat meat is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and blend this crayfish, habanero peppers and fermented oil seeds also known as obeyi. I'll just blend them and I'll set them aside. So back to the meat, at this point the goat meat is about 70% cooked. So at this point I'm going to add in the mackerel fishes so that they can cook as well. Guys, if you haven't tried adding mackerel fishes to your bangas to your ofako, you need to try it. There's a special taste and flavor and even aroma that mackerel fish gives to ofako. I know that the OGs know about this, okay? But if you haven't tried it, please try it out. It's really, really good. So at this point, I added the mackerel and I added more chopped onions and I allowed it to cook. Moving on, this is the banga that I'm going to use in this recipe. This is called um, palm nut concentrate. It's just gotten from palm fruit or palm nut. Okay, this is the type that we have here where I am. Okay, this is the type that we have and trust me, it is good. When you use it, it comes out the same. The taste is the same. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. So back to the pot of meat and fishes <laughs> the meat the fish is done at this point so i removed them i transferred them into another plate and i set them aside i don't want the fishes to disintegrate that's why i had to remove them at this point we are going to add it back later but at this point we need to keep these fishes very safe so now we have only the goat meat left in this pot and we are going to continue with our cooking at this point this goat meat is about let's say 80 percent cooked so by the time we are done cooking it will be 100 percent cooked so in this bowl i'm going to add the banga concentrate and i'm going to pour in some warm water and dissolve it in case you don't know what palm nut or palm fruit looks like, this is what it looks like. It is grown by a tree called palm tree, which is a very popular tree in Nigeria. So it grows this fruit called palm fruit or palm nut. This is what we use to make banga. If you are starting from scratch, that means you have to boil the palm fruit, pound it, add water and squeeze out the the, the chaff the fibers the knot the palm knot pass it through a strainer before you finally get to this point that i am now so in case you don't want to stress your life just get yourself a banga concentrate it tastes good it is easier and yeah it just saves the stress for you so here i'm going to introduce the dissolved banga concentrate into the pot of meat and when you are doing this just make sure that you don't have too much water in your meat if you have too much water then the water that you use it to dissolve the banga should be very minimal don't add too much water just dissolve it according to the consistency that you would want to end up with okay now at this point i'm going to add in the blended crayfish obeyi and pepper stir it around next i'm going to add a secret ingredient which is called ehuru 
this is what a roll looks like before grinding it is also called calabash nutmeg and because i already added some seasoning cubes when i was boiling the meat i added just one cube at this point stir it around and let it simmer I'm going to add in the already cooked mackerel fishes and just like I always say I like to add it at this point so that at least it will have some time to absorb the flavors the same taste as the banga you don't want a situation where you are eating banga soup and the fish in there is not tasting like banga soup like it's, it's not gonna make sense okay so yeah the reason for adding it now is so that it could take up some of the flavors from the stew or the soup and begin to taste like the soup okay that is my reason so now the last thing we are going to add are vegetables and the perfect vegetable for ofaku is nchuao scent leaf ahuji okay like there's no there's no competition when it comes to vegetable okay if you want to go extra you can add ogo as well you can do a combination of ogo and scent leaf or you can just do scent leaf it works like magic so when you add the scent leaf just turn off the heat because you don't want to overcook it for me i use frozen chow because that is what i could get here that i am and oh my god the test is still there it tastes like real and trial it's just that the color is not popping but it's fine okay it's a test that matters now at this point the stew is done okay sometimes i like i use the name interchangeably i call it stew i call it soup like hanchan in so okay it is either of alcohol stew or anyone it works okay so you're going to pair this with white rice I know that some people eat um, banga with starch but I think they cook it um, differently they don't cook it like this this one is specially for eating rice and beans and plantain and all that good stuff so here I'm going to dish out some for us to eat and enjoy I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and please share the video like comment okay leave me a comment in the comment section let me know if there's something you would do differently let me know so i can learn from you as well feel free to check my other videos on this channel they are so interesting to watch i guarantee you that okay guys see you in my next one bye